Welcome again to another tutorial. Tonight I'd like to talk to you about finding asteroids and comets in your images or plain finding them in the night sky. One of PRISM's biggest and most powerful tools is the sky chart. We can display comets and asteroids on the sky chart in, in a rather easy manner. Let's enable them. We go to settings, solar system and comets, load comets. So we go to display, display all comets, compilation, we don't need to worry about this unless you have an actual file, your file that's on your computer, internet database, update comet database by internet. Prism will download the database and compile it for you. Compilation successful, database will, will be reloaded press OK and now we have the latest database now bear in mind that PRISM will display on the sky chart anything uh, within the constraints of the sorting options which is right here right now I'm only displaying magnitudes from negative 5 to 15 let's remove this and see what happens all these yellow objects are are comets so if you want to display all of them, you just remove the sorting option. If you want to limit it to the brightest ones like I did, you go back here and you limit them to up to magnitude 15. Let's zoom in a little bit. And here we are. We are pointed at a comet. Let's see if we actually are. Let's take a 10 second exposure. There it is. To find the, the precise location of your mount, you go to Observatory, Telescope Tools, Find Telescope Position. Excellent. Here we are. So the sky chart is updated with the actual precise location of the telescope. Now, Finding comets and asteroids in your image is a two-step process. Number one, you, we need to plate solve the image. So we go to analysis, plate solving, single image. And we accept the parameters. Everything looks good. Our and deck are populated. My focal length is correct. The pixel size is correct because I'm binning 2 by 2 and it's 3.69. I'm using the UCAC4. Uh, I want to take 60. Uh, stars and match them with 60 stars from the image and I'm using a second degree polynomial uh, I highly advise starting with a second degree polynomial for all your plate solving press OK takes a couple of seconds and the image is plate solved so go to analysis show asteroid and comet on image PRISM is using the RA and DEC and time and date from the FITS header of the image to compare it to the databases it compiled earlier. If it's successful, it will show us the candidates that it found and we'll double check with the magnifier. Include asteroid discovery file. Yes. Voila. 12 asteroids or comets found. Let's press OK. And this is, Prism will annotate the image for us and show us what the objects it found on the image using the data from earlier, RA and DEC, time and date. Let's use the magnifier tool. There it is. This is comet C-2005. ER61 pan stars. This concludes this tutorial um, to show you how to find objects in your images. Remember that your images need to have the correct information in the right format in the FITS headers and 
you're able to extract objects from it using Prism that easily. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did, and I'll see you on the next one.